Hi everyone, welcome to my makeup collection for 2017. I'm really happy with how it looks at the moment, so I wanted to show you guys. Um, but yeah, I do apologise because some of my voice is a bit quiet, so I can have music over the top. But I hope you enjoyed nonetheless, and I will see you very soon. Ikea. I'm sure you guys have seen this because everybody has them on YouTube it seems or most people do and they were in my last makeup collection I've had these for a few years now and this is where most of my makeup is now kept um yeah so let's just start with this let's start on top with what I've got so I've just got a random mug here that has literally nothing in it it's just if I have like random money I'll put it in there I've got a little coast that one of my friends bought me and then over here I've got this little tray from Ikea which I just keep all my little rings in and I've got this key ring that needs to go on my keys um, but yeah that's just really cute I think it's like £1.50 or something and then up here I've got this water bottle which is from Hydrate Mate and it just says nothing worth having comes easy I'd really recommend this it was about £15 but on the back it has like the times and like little motivation points and tells you like when to drink so you have to drink here 8am etc etc and then at 12 o'clock you refill and then you keep going and it's I think it's 900 millilitres it's almost a litre so once you've got through two bottles of that in one day then you know you've done almost your two litre so that's quite a good idea I'll leave a link to it down below because um, you can get different colours with different quotes on them but I just like this one because I like the quote on it um, but yeah so that's that one and then on top here I've just got some palettes I've got three Morphe palettes I've got the 350S, 350M and the 335P I did have the 35T but I, uh, I sold it because I didn't use it anymore and then I've also got this palette here which is a Morphe palette but it actually has, I'll show you over here, it has all my uh, Makeup Geek shadows in, well not all of them but um, some other ones that I don't tend to use as much, I've got another palette in my drawer down here where I keep them all, um, but yeah it's just got a random Benefit blush in there as well but these are really nice, if you want me to go through all my Makeup Geek shadows then I can do that um, and similarly if you want me to talk about anything else in the whole drawers or anything then I can do that as well. So then at the back I have my Too Faced Christmas in New York chocolate shop palette which I'm actually selling so I don't reach for anymore so if you're interested in buying that I'll leave my Depop linked below as well for you so you can have a look at that. I'm selling it for about £50 but I will take offers, obviously it's limited edition so it does come with the um, liquid lipstick as well so that's quite a good thing if you want to purchase it. It's not that I don't like it, it's just that I don't reach for it and I've got loads of other palettes so that is why I'm selling that one. Okay, so now let's get into the drawers. So obviously there's nine drawers, they're not all makeup, but I'll explain them as I go, obviously, and we'll just go through them all. I'm not gonna talk about every single product, I'm just gonna talk about like my favorites and tell you what I like the most. So this first drawer here is my foundation and primer drawer. So on the left here, I've got all my foundations. I kind of rank them in my like favorites at the front to least favorites at the back. So this front row is like my absolute favourite. So at the moment I'm loving the L'Oreal True Match. Like it's just amazing. The coverage is great. The colour selection is great. I use 3N normally, which is creamy beige. And then when I've got fake tan on, I will use 5N, which is the shade Sand. Um, but yeah, it's lovely. I used to have it when it was the old formula, but now it's the new formula. I absolutely love it. So I use that pretty much all the time. And then I've got my two Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation sticks. I have the shade Y225 and then Y245. I was using these for a very long time, but I've just kind of gone off them for a little bit because I'm obsessed with this. Um, and then I've also got the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation. This is a really good one. Um, it's really dewy. And I'm in the shade Fair, which isn't actually that light, but um, yeah, I really like the one. You can get that on Beauty Bay. It's one of my other favourites as well. So these are the three I tend to switch between. And I've got a Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, which I like, but I don't love it that much. I don't reach for it that often, and it's also too light for me at the moment anyway. I've got my Chanel Vitalumia Aqua. I don't grab for it, but I do really like it. 
and then Rimmel Wake Me Up, which is one of my favourite drugstore foundations. I love Rimmel foundations all in all. I think they're just great. Um, so I've got a few shades here, and this is actually the new formula. These are the old formula. Um, but yeah, I've got three shades of that. And then on the top here, I've got my NARS um, Tinted Moisturiser. I've got a MAC foundation and a NYX foundation. And then I've just got some more at the back. I've got Rimmel Match Perfection, which I like, but it's too light for me. I've got Healthy Mix, Healthy Mix Serum. There's an Estee Lauder, Born This Way, and a NARS at the back as well. They're just one that I don't really grab for. So then down the left here, I've got all my primers. I've got the Too Faced Hangover, which is my favourite primer because it's so moisturising. I've got the Bourjois CC cream, which is good for colour correcting. And I've got this Victoria's Secret Fresh Face Fresh Face Brightening Gel Cream, which is quite nice. And I've got a few um, samples. So I've got Makeup Forever. I've got, um, what's this one? MAC, Pep and Prime, and a Benefit underneath there. And at the back, I've got some samples of like foundations and primers. I've got some lightening drops from the Body Shop. I've got some spot cream, and I've got some... Uh, in transit close up from this works and then a moisturizer which I like to take these if I go on holiday or something so that's the first drawer also just a quick warning that um, my some of my drawers squeak so if they make a lot of noise and annoy you then I'm really sorry so this is my next drawer if, as you can see it's quite looks kind of messy but it is quite organized so what I actually use here and what I use up here as well are um, Ikea cutlery trays. So these ones here, they're about £1.50. I've snapped them at the back here and cut them down. So they have like a bit on the back as well. So they're £1.50 and they're really, really handy to divide your makeup up with. I just like how it fits in the drawer. It doesn't fit properly. As you can see, it kind of bends. But I like it. So yeah, this is what I've got. So on the left hand side here are my concealers. I love concealers. I've got a lot of duplicates down at the front here because these are my favourites. So I've got the MAC Pro Longwear in MC15 which is basically one out. It won't come out anymore. But I've got a new one down here and then I've got my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind um, in light and a backup down there as well. And then I've got this one which is new that I'm trying out. It's the, it's the new... Oh, I can't pick it up. It's the new L'Oreal True Match concealer. I haven't tried this before. It's the new formulation. And this is in the shade 1N Ivory. Just to brighten up my under eyes. It's, it's alright. The coverage isn't great, but it does brighten up. And then I've got three Maybelline Fit Me's. Because I've got one that I've used to death. I think it's the middle one here. I've used this one to death as well. So I've got two backups as well. I use the shade 15. Um... I love that with the age rewind together. I think they're really good. And then I've got a MAC Prep and Prime. This is in the shade Light Boost. This is the yellow one. And I've got some LA Girl Correctors. I've got the collection. I've got my NARS and Naked Skin, which are both ran out, but I'm too poor to buy new ones. I'm actually reminding me there. And then I've got the Rimmel Lasting Finish and the NYX Dark Circle Concealer. And then in the middle, I've got my face powders. So I've got the MAC. Uh, what's it called? Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Light Plus. I use this all the time. And then I've got the Rimmel Stay Matte down here and the Sephora Beauty Amplifier Powder. And then I've got my favourite baking powder, which is Laura Mercier. Again, ran out of this, need to get a new one, but it's so expensive. It's like £29. And it's just the translucent one, but it's great for baking and also just for your whole skin. And then I've got this Lottie London Ready Set Go translucent finishing powder. I don't love it, but like I will use it now and then because I don't have this one anymore. Um, and then I've got the RCMA, which is just a hassle because it's so messy, but it is really good. And I've got this Makeup Forever one, um, again, just translucent. Uh, it's the micro finish powder. I haven't tried it out yet, but I'm, temp I'm looking forward to trying it out. But I've heard that it's got a bit of flashback, so I'm a bit concerned about that. And then on the right hand side here are all my favourite bronzers and contour products. So I've got the Hoola bronzer which is nearly gone, it's quite quite sad now. I've got the MAC Give Me Sun, which I'm sure you've all seen before. If I can open it with one hand I'll show you. So this is the MAC Give Me Sun, it's really warm tone but it's a really nice bronzer. And then I've got my well loved NARS Laguna which I've had for years, like honestly years, but it's so pretty. And then I've got two of the Sephora bronzers. These are exactly the same. My sister bought me two. Um, this is the Seychelles Cruise in light. Um, what's it called? Just shimmering bronzing powder. It's kind of like you use it as a blush as well. 
And then at the back, I've got my Chanel Tan de Soleil or oh, Soleil Tan de Chanel bronzing makeup base, which I don't use that much, but it's really nice to have in my collection. Okay. And then at the back here, I've just got my like sculpting sticks, like Clinique uh, bronzer, highlight, and blush. And then I've got some random like liquid bronzers and blushes. Uh, do I have blush? Yes, it's Staniac by the Balm. I've got the Jude the Hula. Um, just random things that I don't really grab for at the back there. Okay, so moving on to the third drawer. So this is a really nice drawer. It's all my blushes and highlighters. So on the left hand side here I have most of my highlighters. I do have some more in this drawer, like my palettes and stuff, but this is just my single highlighters. If you can't tell, I love the MUA on Just Your Skin ones. These are £3 and they're so good. I'm trying to collect them all, but I currently only have... Uh, seven <laughs> i think there's like three more to collect so this one's a really nice one this is in radiant cashmere i also love this one because it reminds me of pink lights from the moon child palette and this is called pink shimmer um, and then i've got this really nice darker one called golden afterglow another gold one here uh this one is also really nice it's pearlescent oh no peach diamond that one's really nice as well and then another one here which is quite cool reminds me of one of the blues from Moonchild and this is pearlescent sheen and then there's another gold there as well and then behind all those I've got my MAC soft and gentle which is one of my all-time favorites I just don't reach for it that much anymore um but it was like my only highlighter when I first got it for a long time um and then yeah I loved it for ages I can't actually open it Yes, yeah, so that's soft and gentle, which is really nice. MAC highlighters are quite expensive. They're about £23, but this one's really worth it. And it's hyped about a lot, so that's soft and gentle. And then at the back, I always have the Mary Luminizer by the Balm, which is another good one, but it's just not as blinding enough for me anymore. Um, and I've got the NARS Albatross highlighter. Just down here, I've got the Makeup Obsession Moon highlighter. Um, I saw Sophie Does Nails talk about this, like around Christmas time. So I bought it, it was like three or four pounds and it reminds me of the Moonchild palette again, so that purple kind of glow. And the middle tray here is blushes. So I've got quite a few. I don't like buy a lot of blush because I don't reach for it all the time. I don't always wear it, but um, I do have my favorites. So one of my favorites is this Milani one, which is the Luminoso, um, which is a staple, I think, for everybody. And I've got some natural collection ones, which are really nice. So I've got Pink Cloud and Peach Melba. Now I've got a tart one down there which is a little bit too light for me, I don't really grab for it. I was obsessed with Dallas for a long time and used to kind of contour and blush with it which was really nice. And I've got the Balm Frat Boy, I've got a NYX blush in Angel, this is their old packaging. Um, and I've got the Body Shop, I've got an e.l.f. one uh, and then a couple of Wet n Wild ones there. And then I've just had this one little bourgeois cream blush which I like to use in the summer now and then. And on the right hand side I've got liquid blushes and liquid highlighters and I also just have two more at the back. I've got my Milani powder blush in Romantic Rose and then I've also got my Marc Jacobs blush here. They just didn't really fit in the middle so I just stuck them over here. And I've got my liquid highlighters and blushes so I've got my True Match highlighter in 101 Golden Glow. I've got a couple of high beams. I've got the Benefit Bennington and Posy tint. And I've got this, which I absolutely love. I wear this all the time under my foundation. It's the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in Moonlight. Amazing. £34 on Beauty Bay, but so worth it. I really want to try the Iconic Drops, but I'm not sure what the diff like if there's any difference or if they're better or whatever. But I do want to try the other shades of these as well. So moving down onto this fourth drawer. This is not as full as the other three you've already seen, but this is a very happy draw for me. So down here we've got all my glitters. So I've got a couple of glitter glues. I've got the NYX and the Too Faced one. And then I've got these random glitters from like some random unbranded thing, but they're quite useful to have. And then I've got eye candy. I've got a few of those. I've got NYX ones, like this one is a NYX one. Um, a few more NYX ones, and then I've got a NYX pigment here as well, which is in Vegas Baby, I believe. Yeah, Vegas Baby. And then I also have quite a few of these Stargazer glitter shakers. They're quite useful. They're quite cheap. I got them off eBay. So if you're trying to like get started with like glitter and testing out other things, definitely have a look on eBay or Amazon because you can get some good stuff that is safe to use. Um, but obviously, yeah, just be careful with that. On the right hand side, I've got my single shadows. So I've got. 
a few colour pop I've got um ones like this, this is a nice bronze, this is the shade game face. One of my favourites is this matte burgundy colour, which is called Paradox. Um, and then I've got a pigment at the back here, which is bright purple, and it's called Fantasy. And then I've got a couple of uh, Wet n' Wild single shadows, a couple of Kiko. I've got a few MAC ones that come in like holiday sets. Steeler and Actual Collection. And then I've got this Kiko one here, which is one of the um, water shadows, wet and dry ones. This is the shade 208. Yeah, so this is that Kiko one in the shade 208. It can be used as a highlighter as well. It's really, really pretty and it can be used wet or dry. And then I've just got a NYX one there, which is a silver. I don't use that often. So at the back, I've got all my mascaras. I don't like use them all obviously but i've got like bad girl lash by benefit i've got a mac one i've got l'oreal i've got soap and glory another bad girl my favorite is the cover girl clump crusher so i've also got a backup of that there i've got makeup forever Too faced they're real primer and they're real and then a ico one at the back there as well so moving on to the next drawer I like this one too it looks quite boring but i do really enjoy it so this drawer is brows and then liquid liners like black liquid liners here and then colored liners pencil liners glitter liners just the miscellaneous over here so let's start with the brows so i've got my pomade here that should be like this this is a freedom one which is my favorite at the moment this is in the shade dark brown um i like this one because it's dark enough for me at the moment and then I've got an Ardell one here. Is it Ardell? No, it's Milani. Uh, it's Milani. And then two Anastasia Dip Brows. And then I've got the Freedom um, Powder. And then Ico Brow Gel Benefit. And then this random one by Models Co. And then I've got the Anastasia Brow Gel and the Anastasia Brow Wiz. So my favourite things are the Brow Wiz and the um, Brow Gel from Anastasia. And then the Freedom brow pomade because that's what I like to use at the moment. I do want to get the darker one of the Anastasia because these ones just don't match me anymore. So in the middle here I've got some liquid liners, I've got the NYX Epic Ink, I've got Too Faced Sketch, a couple of Ico, the NYX Matte Black I think this is. Yeah and then some Ico Fat ones at the back. My favourite is the NYX Epic Ink. It's waterproof and it's incredible and highly rated and I also really like the Ico one as well. And then over here we've got our coloured liners, glitter liners, etc. So I've got a matte chromographic pencil in NC15 or NW20. I've got a Urban Decay black liner, a Makeup Forever one. I've got two of the NYX Vivid Brights, the orange and the pink, and then a couple of these collection glam crystals, which are really nice. And at the back, I've just got some pencil uh, shadows and things that I don't really use. I think onto the next drawer, which is one of the big drawers. This is where I keep my lashes and setting sprays. So my favourite lashes are the House of Lashes Iconics and Iconic Lights. These are the Iconic Lights, which are the same as the Iconics, which look like this. Um, but if you can tell the Iconics are quite thick, whereas these ones are a bit lighter. They're exactly the same style, they look exactly the same. But they've got a thinner band and they're just not as heavy on the eye. So I like these for like everyday kind of use. And I've got a few red cherry styles. I've got these from Eye Candy. I've got some Huda Beauty, some Ilea by Vegas May, some Cheryl Cole and some more Ilea at the back there. And then down here in my setting sprays, so I've got the... L'Oreal Infallible Fixing Mist, which is quite nice. I've got the Sephora Beauty Amplifier. I've got Makeup Forever and then three of the Dara Cosmetics like Slayer Days. I've got another Christmas set. So that's that drawer. It's not that exciting, but it does the job. So then this drawer has got some of my like, skincare bits in. So at the back, I keep all my face masks. So I've got quite a few of these Sephora sheet masks. I actually used one today and it was really nice. Uh, I've got a Clinique mask, I've got a L'Oreal mask and Origins mask. And at the front I've got lip masks and eye masks from Sephora and then some little ones like the Clinique and an Emma Hardy one. And then I've got some cotton wool pads, makeup remover and micellar waters down the side there. So that's not that exciting but it's something you need to have. 
this next drawer then has got my hair stuff in so underneath i've got some like muslin cloths and some like um bigger hair products like my hairspray and stuff but over here i just have these like hair clips i use to pull makeup back pull my hair back when i do my makeup rather a blotterati from beauty blender some hair bands some hair grips and then some like mini stuff that i need to try out so that's that and then in the last drawer this is very random. So I've got all my nail polishes down here. Essie are my ultimate favourite. Um, this is a new one I just got, which is called Spin the Bottle. And it looks like that. And then I've got some feet masks from Sephora. I've got some nail clippers here. And at the back, I've just got some random makeup that I don't use, but don't want to get rid of. Um, stuff that I do need to use, hasn't really got a home for it right now. Just some like Maybelline color tattoos, some MAC pigments, some Wet n Wild palettes. UA palette down there it's very random and at the back I've got a benefit palette that needs to depot so that's the most boring drawer ever so moving along this is my dressing table and this is the Malm dressing table from Ikea and it's got this acrylic chair so on the left hand I've got these like pots and I think these are from the range or something like that um so I've got my Urban Decay setting spray in the chill it's completely gone we need to get a new one that's my favourite, so it's there to remind me. And then I've got this Superdrug Vitamin E Skincare Hydrating Mist. So I'm trying that out at the moment. I've got my new moisturiser, which is the L'Oreal Hydrogenius, and it's so good. I actually bought this because I saw Imogen from Imagination recommend it, and it's amazing. If you've got dry skin or even normal skin, try it out. It's so moisturising. I think it's about eight pounds when i bought it i bought it from super drug it's fantastic and then i've got some matte brush cleanser which is again empty i need some more because i really do like this for a brush brush cleanser and then i've got the olay complete sensitive day cream which is my favorite moisturizer i've gone through like four of these i like to use this with the hydrogenous it makes a really good balance on my skin and then i've just got a little beauty blender reactivate thing that i don't really use and in this pot here i've got lip liners on so what i've got is nyx lip liners and a makeup product thing got some rimmel got mac elf kiko some primark ones which are really nice these are one pound and they're so good there we go so this one is the shade um toffee and then I've also got this one, which is the shade Desert Sand. It's a very nice nude shade. And I've also got some Colourpop ones. And then I've got my... Hello. Got my Colourpop Lippy Sticks. And um, they're really nice as well. So that is them. And then I've got my makeup brushes here. These are really dirty. I need to clean them, but I wanted to film this first. So I've just got a range. I've got... Uh, what do I have? Real Techniques, Morphe, Zoeva, Eco Tools, Colourpop. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, Mac as well. There's just a mixture in there. I'm not going to go through them all because it's just silly. And then in the middle of my dressing table here, I have my mirror again from IKEA. I will link it all below. And across here is my face brushes. So again, Real Techniques, Spectrum, Elf. So Eva, Morphe float in there somewhere. Um, Do I say Elf? Yeah, a big mixture. Again, not that exciting. And then down here I've got all my beauty blenders, some random sponges for like baking, and my Mac Fix Plus, which I go through very quickly. Let's move on to this drawer here. So down here I've got like hair clips, tweezers, eyelash glue, sharpener, scissors, eyelash curler, like all my basic stuff. Got some baby wipes there, and then this is all my palettes, well, most of my palettes. Um, let me pull it out for you. So you've got my Violet Voss Pro Palette. This is the Ride or Die. Um, at the back there, I've got some random sleek palettes. My Modern Renaissance, which is my absolute favourite. I've hit pan on one, I'm hitting pan on a couple of others too, so yeah. And I've got my Too Faced Sweet Peach, and then this is my Makeup Geek Palette, which is my most used shades again if you want to see a video on that let me know and 
and I've got this really cool bright and new A palette which stained my eyelids but that's okay. I've got a sleek bright palette that I use regularly I've got Smashbox here and then a little MUA one there and a naked palette and then down here are my face palettes so I've got my Kat Von D shade and light which I'm sure you've all seen my favourite highlight palette at the moment which is the Revolution Ultra Pro Glow Ultra Pro Glow and then my Moonchild and the Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop collection amazing so then if we move on over here I've got my favourite part of it and this is my lipstick holder so this is from Muji and it holds all my lipstick but the moment I used to have like the acrylic tray things but I like it like this a lot more I can see all the shades and yeah it's great so up here I have all my colour prop ones and um, so I've got ultra matte lips ultra satin lips ultra glossy and ultra metallic um i love them they're amazing my favorite is little stitious which is a satin and i also really like dirty birdie which is a metallic it's sick this next one is more liquid lips i've got my jue ones over here i love them they're my favorite i want more um, i've got melon and then skinny dip which is a lip topper I've got a Lime Prime Velveteen in Cashmere, I've got an Anastasia Liquid Lip, and NYX Liquid Suede Soft Matte Lip Cream, two of the Sephora ones, two Kat Von D, and then a random L'Oreal one just there. The next drawer has all my MAC lipsticks, so at the back has um, Christmas ones, and then here's just normal collection, I've got a Viva Glam, the Rihanna ones, anyone ever remember that one? And then a mineralized rich one there and then also five rimmel lipsticks these three are kate moss ones and these two are just normal and then in this drawer we've got my nyx lips lip my nyx lipsticks we've got a matte one three butter lipsticks and then a lime prime lipstick a ysl lipstick maybelline and victoria's secret and then i've got three of these new l'oreal glosses which are beautiful and then down here got some baby lips my elf lip scrub and a backup of velvet teddy so that is the end of my makeup collection video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please remember to give it a big thumbs up and leave me any comments below that you want to add or any questions and i'll answer them and don't forget to subscribe before you leave and i'll see you in the next video bye